just a disclaimer, I'm not a licensed electrician. So anything I'm telling you to do, that's your problem. You're taking on the risk yourself. I'm not responsible for you burning your house down. Good luck. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, then don't do it. Go and pay someone to do your electrical work if you don't know what you're doing and you're worried about it. It's just not worth the risk. The directions for wiring them are not too confusing, but there's a few steps. So the first thing you want to do is prep this little socket. So take off this top cap, then take off this middle cap, the one that has little prongs on it. And then just because we're here, take off this brass um, retention ring also because we're not going to need it yet. So let's just get it out of the way. Okay. So looking inside, you have this porcelain or ceramic socket inside the metal. So in order to wire it, you have to get that out. Um, and the way you're going to do that is you want to take a screwdriver and you want to go after this screw that's in the socket. It's kind of inset. And this screw right here, that's kind of inset. So carefully turn it over and make sure you don't lose these two screws because obviously you're going to need those, so set those aside with the other parts. So on the back here you should see a set of terminals and they should each have a screw in them. So what you want to do is take a small Phillips or slot, I think they're both threaded, and you're going to loosen these. You can kind of see the screw is protruding into that socket. So what you want to do is just back it off so the hole's clear. And do that to both of them. Once you've done that, what you're gonna need is some wire. Obviously, I got some of this nice um, cloth wrapped wire off Amazon, of course. Um, and what we're going to do is we have to peel off this uh, fabric part and get to the inner core of the wire, which is wrapped up in some rubber insulation, and then you can see the two wires. So the easiest way to do this, I've found, is to take some electrical tape, cut yourself a piece that's um, about an inch or so, and then about two inches up, wrap that nice and tight around the fabric. And you'll know it's good and tight if you can kind of see the texture of the fabric coming through the tape, that's what you want. You want that super tight, because that's gonna hold the, the fabric wrapper in place while we do the rest of the work. So, take this little pronged one and carefully bend the prongs back a little bit, because you're gonna need to open this like that. Okay, so I had a tiny file and I filed out the inside section here to try and smooth it because obviously you can't, if, it's, if there's a little slag in here, then it catches on the fabric and it rips it. So I smoothed it out with a file. If you don't have a file, take an old screwdriver and go like this and scrape it around the inside. Don't stab yourself in the finger. But scrape around the inside like that and try and break that down so that you can get rid of that burr because you don't want you want it to be nice and smooth. So once you've got it nice and smooth, the next step is to get the sheath off of the wire. So it's kind of difficult. There's probably a better way to do this, but the way I've been doing it is taking my utility knife and carefully cutting through the wire just a little bit and rolling the wire back and forth to make a mark or to, to cut through the fabric and a little bit of the rubber. I don't want you to go all the way through the inner rubber, just So now you got to get this off to expose the two conductors that are inside. And again, there's probably a better way to do this, but the best way I've found is since we already went around it and scored it, take your utility knife and 
hold the wire at the top up here. Don't hold it between your fingers while you're trying to cut it. Hold it up at the top and gently press into it. You don't want to cut all the way through it. Now you've got your inner conductors, and I accidentally nicked that black one, but it doesn't look like it went all the way through it, so I think we'll be okay. I'm gonna cut most of that off anyway. So now you have two conductors, and we're ready to go. So my wire is 18 gauge, so I'm gonna take my um, multi-tool stripper, and I'm going to strip each of these wires, and I kind of left them long. I don't need them this long, so here's where I'm gonna make them a little shorter. Okay, and this is a trick that I learned from my dad, so what you do is, I'm just, I got my fingers under here and I'm pulling it. Don't pull this all the way off. Leave a little bit of the insulation and use it to twist the wire because look how nice and tight of a twist you can get. Then you can remove the rest. Carefully feed the white one in, and you can feel it bottom out. So right there I'm bottomed out, but you see how much copper is exposed? I don't really want that, so I'm going to shorten that lead even a little further. I'm going to take about another eighth of an inch off, and I'll do it to both while I'm here, because they're the same depth. Feed it into that socket, there you go, and then tighten down the, lead, the, uh, the terminal screw. You don't gotta go crazy, just give it, you know, nice and finger snug, you, can, you should be able to feel that it's nice and tight. This is stranded wire, so you really don't want to overdo it because you could, you, could, uh, you could cut the wire, or you could shear it basically. So now you're, you're well attached, but the only thing that's holding the uh, overall cord into the socket is that terminal connection. Take the little black one with the fingers and bring it back, and you want to tighten it. And the only thing you want to be careful about with this, you just want to make sure that you didn't have so much tape exposed that the fingers aren't going to hit the, uh, the insulation wrapping, because you want these little fingers to get squeezed into the insulation, and that's what's really going to hold this together. That's nice and tight, and now this is rock solid. Nothing's a problem, and you're good to go. And that is how you wire one of these uh, Edison-style, like old pendant fixtures. And all you gotta do now is uh, wire the other end, or plug it in, or whatever. So, put this back on, and I'm ready to go. So, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask me. 